Terrell, you're absolutely right. This has been a very controversial issue, and now no cash bail takes effect starting today. Some are celebrating this as a victory, while others are saying it will cause great harm. Today is the day that we stop criminalizing poverty. Local county and state elected officials, along with several advocacy groups, gathered this morning on the steps of the Layton Criminal Courthouse to celebrate the end of cash bail in Illinois. Today, we mark an Illinois where people will be able to keep their jobs, stay in their homes, maintain custody of their children while they await their trial. The elimination of cash bail, which takes effect today, comes after extensive delays and legal challenges. Some prosecutors and law enforcement leaders believe it will place more criminals back on the streets. Will County State's Attorney James Glasgow has been a staunch opponent. We feel very strongly that it's a, a serious public safety issue, but at the same time, we want to join in the, in the fight towards reforming bail. Before today, a judge was able to set bail as a means of ensuring a defendant would show up for court hearings. Now, that will no longer be the case. If a judge decides a defendant does not pose a public safety or flight risk, they will be released without being required to post any money. However, people arrested for violent crimes will likely be detained by a judge. The Chicago Alliance Against Sexual Assault supported the end to cash bail, saying judges will now take more careful consideration of the risk posed by defendants. Our now former system, which I'm very excited to say, uh, didn't make survivors safe. People could get out of jail simply because they had the money to pay. House Republican leader Tony McCombie released a statement this morning saying in part ending cash bail has produced harmful results in other cities and states and we have no reason to believe Illinois will be any different. We can only hope that innocent victims lives are not the ultimate price we have to pay. It also says this da deck is stacked against vic the victim and favors the criminal. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.